it's all mounted now, more or less anyway. It's solid. Everything fits nicely, and it's uh, and it's quite solid, and it's all all as it should be. Now I just need to find a way uh, to mount speedo somewhere down there, a little bit deeper, and um, ignition. It all can be hidden down there, so it's out of sight, out of mind. Uh, so it's kind of double purpose. So it sits both sits in there, and uh, that should be pretty straightforward, right? <laughs> Let's do this. Right guys, nearly there. It's uh, just a dry fit, quickly, you know, but everything fits. Everything is what it should be. Nothing is rubbing. It's uh, it's solid. I just need to uh, tidy up the welds and um, and uh, reinforce the brackets a little bit because there's uh, some flex on the brackets inside, but that's easy to do. But um, I'm happy. I'm 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 liking the look. Need to uh, cut these bits off. For the clutch cable and the uh, and a um, front brake uh, kind of bolt over here as well, uh, but that's not a big deal. One is all painted in a not adjustable. One is all painted same color. You know the whole thing. It's going to blend in nicely. Uh, I think so, and it gives it nice, uh, nice kind of stance all together. Looking at the. Uh, position where I'm going to sit most of the time, I'm going to spend my time that's going to be slightly lower because I still need to bend the bracket so the speedo is mounted bang on straight that gives me some space over there um, as a dashboard to install some idiot lights just just in case I'm because uh, I'm thinking I'm putting like an oil pressure light that's probably a good thing to have maybe a, maybe a neutral finder I'm not quite sure about that yet probably not needed maybe not indicators but um, I'll see just need to dig in the uh, manual see if I can find the cables in the electrics and just they probably somewhere in the headlight anyway and the ignition I've got on the side right here so that's pretty uh, pretty cool I think this side you can see from this end just key sticking out off and on Pretty neat, quite happy with that. So it's all done, more or less anyway. Um, this little bracket, as you can see, uh, I've been reinforcing that, mm, so there's no no flex to it whatsoever. I just welded some 
um, around rods underneath and some extra bits. Uh, the part for the uh, ignition, the brackets, it's here, so that works as a part of the uh, reinforcement anyway. There's no flex in it whatsoever now. Strong, really beef piece um, that goes over here in a fairing like that, uh, sits in there. Um, so yeah, let me uh, put it on the bike. Uh, mounts rather easy with just uh, three bolts over here and two bolts over there. Um, and I'm gonna install some of the other bits and I'll show you how it looks like. Cheers guys, so um, there we have it, uh, fairing mounted, bikini fairing mounted, um, yes it's of the Harley Davidson and I realize it may be not everybody's cup of tea to first of all have a front fairing on a bike like this and especially have a fairing that is designed or was uh, made for Harley Davidson uh, lots of bikes, you can see Dynas and Sportsters, they, uh, this model fits that perfectly well. Um, but you know what? It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm not building this bike for everybody. <laughs> I'm building it for myself and I really like that. I really like the lines. It's heaven, you know, the, it's the right width and, it's, and it matches the handlebars perfectly well. And I like kind of what's happening with the own lines and everything. The visually, visually the whole thing for me looks really really good especially when i can see it's going to be painted only the same color and the same kind of theme is going to follow the bike so i'll be uh, really really um, happy about it yeah um, i'm really buzzing now because we're getting really really fucking close to uh, complete this project what else i got left here to do i need to do the front mud guards i need to fabricate it from scratch well not scratch i got some ideas how to do it so front mud guard i need to do really short one um, I need to relocate the uh, pet cook on the petrol tank and plug the hole over there. I'm probably going to need to have some um, TIG welding help from uh, one of the friends of mine with this because uh, I'll explain later when we get to that. But that's the two major things I need to do. Um, and the other thing is uh, finalize all the electrics. And you know, I tidy everything up, but I need to reconnect it because at the moment everything is hanging everywhere. I need to connect the battery, uh, find route away for the uh, air for the battery strapped to the engine and, and all these other bits and bobs. Tiny little things, you know, um, but they're very, very time consuming. But without it, we cannot go any, 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 anywhere further. But main thing is here, um, as I said, front mud guard and relocation of the petrol tank uh, and, and, and that petrol tank petcock. Um, to a different spot and weld the other hole that was in there. That's two major things I need to do. Then mount the front indicators, tidy all up, and I think we can fire it up for the first time in, what, three and a half, four months? Something like this, nearly four months. So uh, I'll be able to take it up for the road. Once I ride it for a few weeks, uh, maybe not a few weeks, a uh, few hours, uh, I'll be able to strip it all down and make it ready for paint. Yeah, but, but until then, <laughs> <laughs> you know the drill, have a beer, rock hard, and I'll see you next time.